So what's your reaction? What do you think of this? I was surprised, okay. like everybody else, because so much of this process had leaked. Of course, people knew the names of other candidates, Meg Whitman of HP, Jeff Immelt of GE, but Dar is a savvy choice, right, for a couple of reasons. One, he's run a company in a fast-moving internet industry, right, that's not HP or GE. Uh, two, he's built a homegrown, cutting-edge tech stack, uh, basically a tech platform that allows for different kinds of transactions, different kinds of brands. He runs a, he ran with Expedia, a company of 20 20,000 young people, right? Uber is, uh, you know, a lot of young millennials there. And he, he has at Expedia faced a behemoth in Priceline that's also kind of trial by fire. So I think actually the, the experience at Expedia will trans translate quite nicely into most of the things he has to do at Uber. What about some of the, you know, the experience with the travel industry and Uber, you know, being a transportation company, sort of moving into that next to that next level? I mean, it's a marketplace. With all the complications of marketplaces, you've got customers and riders or passengers in the in the case of Expedia travelers you have drivers right uh, you know who, who as a group weren't very happy with uh, Travis's leadership at U Uber but now you know with Dara who, who actually himself is an immigrant came from Iran at the age of nine you know someone who perhaps is a much more sympathetic figure to that largely kind of irate driver community now um, you know and and, and the, all the challenges of, of balancing supply and demand I think it's one of the reasons why Meg Whitman was so attractive to the Uber board, but Dara, with his experience at Expedia, brings the same skill set over. So what happened? I mean, what do we know about why Whitman and Imal didn't work out? Uh, I mean, you know, what I know comes mostly Which from my colleague. Which happened on the day of the finale of Game of Thrones. Right, <laughs> right, right, very fitting. But it comes mostly from my colleague, Eric Newgummer, who has covered this quite well for mm -hmm. us. And, and you know, the, the be benchmark and its allies really wanted Meg Whitman. Mm -hmm. Travis, who's kind of clinging to a seat at the table, uh, you know, clearly wanted Jeff Immelt. The sides are at loggerheads. It's turned into litigation in the state of Delaware. You know, Dara comes in really, it seems to me, as a consensus candidate and perhaps someone who could bridge these two sides, settle the litigation, get everyone on the same page. I mean, that's going to probably come down to Bill Gurley from Benchmark and Travis Kalanick still on the Uber board of directors, getting over the personal enmity that's between them and moving forward for the good of the company.